Now, Vincent, if you, um, if you print newspapers, you make sure you've got lots of pink paper lying around. If you're a house builder, you make sure you've got plenty of bricks. <laughs> Surely, if you're a broker and a trader, you make sure that your systems work and you've got backup to those systems and backup to those backup, backup systems. Um, apparently not at Knight Capital. Apparently not, yes. And, and I mean, look, companies like Knight Capital, they're essentially brokers. They're middlemen between investors and the markets. Their reputations rest solely on the competence of their technology. In Knight Capital's case, there's been a spectacular um, failure of that technology. On Wednesday, some um, algorithm tra trading um, program just went wild and sent out all these orders that um, sent the market haywire and have cost the company. And an when these things happen, fortune. that never seems to result in a profit, unfortunately. Never, <laughs> never ever. They lost. They've lost 440 million dollars, I think, um, which is you know more than their. It's about. 80% of their first, first half revenue. And now teetering by all accounts. And now teetering, yes, and, and vultures are circling. And there's, you know, and so everybody is coming out of the woodwork now to say, you know, we told you so, we told you so, this can happen again. Um, I think there, this is a very embarrassing episode for Wall Street. And of course, everybody's sort of saying that there's a trend of these. We've got bats and the NASDAQ thing with uh, Facebook and so on and the flash crash. Do you see any underlying trend? Or well, is I it do actually. I mean, I think that unfortunately there is a trend here. And, and you know, each one um, sort of reinforces the other, if you like. Um, and, and I think that, that you know, part of the trend is that, the, is that the, it just illustrates the extent to which trading has shifted from human beings mm -hmm. doing it with each other to computers doing it with each other. And nobody seems to be watching the computers. You know, so you switch it on in the morning, you go off and do whatever you have to do, and then you come back in the evening and you switch it off. And nobody, and these things churn out trades, like hundreds of them every second. Uh, most of them don't get done because they, there isn't a matching um, trade for them. But, uh, you know, so nobody's watching. And when something goes wrong, there's nobody there to sort of turn it off. But at the same time, I mean, there are trillions of dollars worth of transactions every sort of every hour in the world. It's uh, you'd almost expect more of them, really. Or well, you think this is yeah, no, precisely. I mean, uh, I think that that and the reason why these episodes generate so much publicity and why everybody sort of stands up and says, you know, starts pointing figures is because um, they are so rare. You know, the, the infrastructure of the markets does work very efficiently. Mm. But when it breaks down, it breaks down spectacularly. And that is the problem. And, you know, I think that, that it's an issue for, for um, investors and brokers and regulators. And, and confidence, and especially when it's so weak in, exactly. in and finance when they and happen, financial services. And they do happen more in down markets as well. I mean, you know, it's, it's you know, if, if the market had been rising steadily, Knight probably would have made a profit. The fact that it's very volatile and that markets are very weak and there's no confidence there, you know, it is almost foretold that a loss would be made. Yes, so uh, another another black mark against the finance industry at the end of a tough week anyway. Um, let's hope there are no more this year at least. Thank you, Vincent.